Hey guys, so, um, it's been quite a while since my last vlog. I think I filmed my last vlog during winter break. It's now January 23rd, and a lot happened since then, especially after my last vlog. Like, wow. Um, and I'm gonna try to <laughs> number these vlogs and keep them more organized. Mostly for myself because I'm all frazzled and I, as you guys already know, I have ADD and it's getting so bad and it's just like, yeah. And as of right now, I just got over having the flu and after I just got over having the flu, I got my period. So it's just like, I got stabbed twice. So as that happened, um... Yeah, since I'm on depot, I don't get my period often, and, yeah, sorry to any of my guy viewers or anybody watching this and, like, what the fuck, but, yeah, my vlog, personal shit, don't give a fuck, but, um, yeah, anyway, so, I take depot, which is, like, a shot you take mostly in your butt, yeah, every three months. And it's a birth control. I have to take that because I can't take the pills. And I'd rather take that instead. Only for the meantime. And, um, so, and Devo, basically, since you take it, it kind of, like, makes you miss periods. Which is okay with me. I don't care. Like, I missed, I, like, I skipped two months of not getting my period, which is okay. And I finally got it. And it's not that bad. I don't have bad cramps. And... I don't have bad bleeding to spotting, so, yeah, but, none of that gross stuff, <laughs> um, anyway, but, so sane, but yeah, since I'm all emotional and shit now, cause ADD, PMS, and all that stuff, more frazzled, and I haven't really been home lately, long story, cause, do I want to break, I'm just gonna start off now, um, Basically, oh gosh, it's just a long story, like, I don't want to make this video long, but I'm just going to make it short, I guess. Um, basically, my ex, Andy, the one I was avoiding probably since he broke up with me in June. I don't think I've ever mentioned him in my vlogs, but um, he kind of really fucked me over. It really hurt me, and I was avoiding him because, obviously... I, it hurt me to see him, talk to him or anything, and he promised me when we were together we would be friends. And he kept that promise, but it was me that didn't kept, keep to it. And he ended up calling me, and I was surprised that he actually still had my home phone number, because he, I guess, like, um, he didn't have my new cell phone number, so he couldn't contact me there. So he called me on my home phone, my mom handed me the phone, she was, like, confused. I was confused. I answered the phone. And I was like, hello, who is this? And he was like, Andy. And I'm like, Andy who? Like, it can't be who I think it is because he doesn't even talk to me anymore. And then he was like, Andy Larkin. And I'm like, shit, I'm hallucinating. And the time he called me, it was New Year's. And I wasn't doing shit. More like I was going to, but then I decided not to because I just was like, fuck it, I don't want to do shit. So I ended up not doing anything. And, well, I end up doing something, but that night, I ended up not doing anything, like, okay, well, anyway, I thought I was not going to do anything that night, but he ended up calling me, which made me end up doing something. Yeah. Well, I did get invited to hang with this one, I did get invited to hang with this one guy, but I didn't know that guy, so I felt uncomfortable going to see him. And Andy, I probably trust more since I was actually with him. So he invited me to go hang with him, and I felt more comfortable after, and I guess I had more of a closure, because he told me, he was like, look, um, I know we broke up, and it was bad and shit, but I promised you I'll still be friends with you, and I'm gonna keep that promise, and I don't see why we can't be friends, you know, so we should come, you should come chill with me, and we should hang you know, and blah blah, I miss you. So, I ended up walking from my house 
all the way to where he was at, which is like at least 20 minutes. No, of an, it was an hour of a walk, and I did it like after 12 because I didn't want to miss, you know, New Year's. And by the time I got there, I was a little bit late to the party, and my whole goal was to get fucked up. I never got seriously drunk before. And I'm a lightweight, I'm not gonna lie, so I was just like, I'm gonna get drunk. And that's basically what I did. I go there, and there was no alcohol, so I was pissed. And only that, I was the only one not drunk. And I was awkward, and I didn't know anyone there except for Andy. And some people I've probably seen here or there, but I still didn't know them. So I was just sitting there like, what the fuck? And then, um, the host of the party, the guy who had the party, I guess, Tim, he noticed this and he gave me probably like this much of Smirnoff in a bottle. He gave it to me, like he gave me the bottle and he thought like I was going to take like a sip or two or whatnot. I ended up gulping the whole fucking thing and everyone was like and then like they were like chug 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 I ended up chugging the whole thing and then I was like I want more. So then they ended up giving me like shots and random shit they found around the house and they ended up getting more alcohol and then I'm not a beer person, so I'm more of an alcohol, um, not alcohol, liquor person, and so I was, like, drinking anything they gave me, and I didn't give a fuck. And, like, all the guys, they, like, ended up hitting on me, and I was just, like, I, like, when I was sober, I was, like, get away from me, but then when I got drunk, I was, like, I don't give a fuck, and I ended up making out with all of them. I was, I was being, like, a such a whore, but, uh, shit happens. And it's funny, because, like, I seen my friends drunk before and I would like look down on them for being a slut <laughs> and then like I looked at myself and I was like now I understand <laughs> but it was just like it was New Year's I didn't give a fuck and I'm like they want me and I'm like they, they want me all they're gonna get is like kisses I'm like I'm not gonna get drunk enough or I'm gonna like be dumb and have sex which I was still like in the right mind when I wasn't that like I knew not to do that like, I think the only thing I did that was like probably stupid is I pulled down my pants to show my under, like undies, undies, because like, um, some like guy was like, I can see your like thong, and I was like, yeah, whatever, not really a thong, but okay, and then I just pulled my pants down to show it wasn't a thong, <laughs> and then I just pulled them back up, and then I like laid down, like I got like so wasted. And then I'm smoking like weed, and then like I am snorting like this pill called Adderall, and like I like they said it was supposed to keep me up, and that's why I took it. At first, I didn't want to snort it, cause I don't do that shit. Now I was so drunk at the point I was like, I don't give a fuck. If it's gonna keep me up, I'm gonna do it. And then by that point, I was so wasted, it didn't really help at all. I ended up getting so drunk, I ended up bumping my head, getting a bump in my head, bruising my ribs somehow, like passing out, puking everywhere, and this one fucking guy Danny. I'm not gonna get into that whole story about him because this video is already too long. Um, helping me the whole night. And then, yeah, um, and this other girl named Selena, she helped me too, and she was nice. And then, oh yeah, and about the Andy thing. Me and Andy are kind of cool now. He's more like a brother to me now. And like, um, he, um, yeah, it's like, it's, I thought it was kind of cool that he still cared, and that he still remembered, like, the stuff I told him that, about, like, when we were together, like, my mom's boyfriend and stuff, and he asked about that, and, that, and like, and everything. It was funny, though, because when he didn't invite me to the party, he didn't say, like, and Nick was going to be there, he was like, oh, yeah, it's going to be all guys, and at first I felt really awkward about that, but he's like, it's okay, I'm going to, like, protect you, and he didn't say anything about his girlfriend, so I thought that was weird, but his girlfriend ended up being there, so I was like, okay, whatever, and I... I know it's weird, but, like, when he got with his girlfriend, I was, like, jealous in a way and kind of mad because it's, like, his, oh, God. His girlfriend's cool now that I know her, but she's not the best-looking chick. I'm sorry. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna be really honest. I know I look better than she does. And even, like, his own friends say behind his back. Because now that I actually hang with his friends a lot now, which I'll get to, um... Basically, they always say, like, oh, yeah, like, she's, she's a bitch, like, she's that, like, and he doesn't even like her, he's just using her, and I'm like, it's just sad in a way because he did the same thing to me, and I know he's gonna do the same thing to her, and I just feel bad, like, I hate guys like that, 
and like last weekend I was hanging with him and I was really emotional because I just saw my beauty and shit and I just started crying because he said oh yeah you were just my you know fuck up chick like I wanted to fuck up a chick and I fucked you over and I had fun with it and I was like how are you gonna fucking say it to me and yeah and basically it's whatever